Today's lesson is 9.1. Multiply and divide with multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. Our learning target today is I can find multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. To get started, turn to page 204 and 205 in your math journal. They should look like this. Today, we're going to be using these sheets to explore the different weights of North American animals. You might notice when you turn to these pages that they give us a range of weights. For example, the black bear. And a normal adult black bear weighs anywhere between 250 pounds and 600 pounds. That means that if I had a black bear that weighed 300 pounds, that would be normal. It was, it's within our range. I most likely wouldn't find a black bear that weighs 650 pounds because that goes above our normal range. So here's our first problem. Which animal could weigh 30 times as much as 50 pound sea otter. We're going to be using this problem solving sheet to help us work through this number story. The first thing we need to ask ourselves is what do we already understand from the story? Specifically, what do we want to find out? When I go back and read more closely, I noticed that I want to find out which animal can weigh 30 times as much as a 50 pound sea otter. Now, what information do I already know? I already know that a sea otter weighs 50 pounds. What do you think I could do to find out which animal weighs about 30 times as much as the sea otter. Whisper to a partner now. Pause video here. Great ideas. Using these strategies, I came up with an idea. I could multiply 30 times 50 pounds to find out how much that animal might weigh. I know that one seal weighs 50 pounds, and I want to know what 30 times that might be. On your whiteboards, write the number model for this problem. Pause video here. Great work! You should have a number model that looks something like this. The total weight equals 30 times 50, or 30 times 50 equals that total weight. Think about it this way. We have a scale. On one side, we have 30 seals, each of them weighing 50 pounds. We're trying to figure out what one animal could go on the other side of our scale that will equal the same amount as those 30 seals all together. That brings us to step three, answering the question. Right now on your whiteboard, solve the problem and record your work or show your work. Make sure when you're writing the answer to use units. Pause video now. Great job. 30 times 50 pounds equals 1,500 pounds. Take a look at your math masters, page 204 and 205. Which animal weighs about 1,500 pounds? Pause video now. 
a polar bear could weigh between 650 and 1,750 pounds. 1,500 pounds is right between that range. When you think back to our scale, one polar bear weighs as much as 30 sea otters. Now we need to ask ourselves, does the answer make sense? Well, the number model here shows us 30 times 50 pounds each equals 1,500 pounds. Because it's within the range of weights for our polar bear, yes, the answer makes sense. Try this next problem on your own. The question says, how many 50 pound sea otters together would weigh about one ton? Or 2,000 pounds? Remember to follow these steps when figuring out this number story. First, ask yourselves, what do you want to find out and what do you already know? Then think about a strategy or something you can do to figure out the problem. Once that's set up, go ahead and solve the problem and make sure to use units on your answers. Finally, check the problem by asking, does it make sense and how do you know? Do this now on your whiteboards. Pause the video now. So what were you trying to find out? You wanted to know the number of 50 pound sea otters that would weigh about 2,000 pounds. You already knew that one sea otter would weigh 50 pounds. So how did you solve it? You might have thought of this problem using multiplication, thinking what number of times 50 pounds equals 2,000 pounds. You might have also thought about it using division, thinking how many times can 2,000 pounds be split up into 50 pounds? Or how many times could 2,000 pounds be divided by 50? No matter your strategy, you should have come to the number of 40, or 40 sea otters. I know this because 50 times 40 equals 2,000, or 2,000 split into 50 different groups means there will be 40 in each group. Take a look at the smaller math fact. Notice I see a 20 and a 5, so I can think about what number times 5 equals 20. I could also think about it this way, as how many times can 5 go into 20 to get me that missing number? Using page 204 and 205 in your math journal, try to solve these problems on your own. Remember the steps we've taken in the previous problems. The first question asks, which animal could weigh about 10 times as much as a 30 pound American porcupine? The second asks, how many 300 pound northern fur seals weigh as much as 6,000 pound pilot whale? Solve these on your whiteboard and pause the video now. In problem one, I took 34 pounds and I multiply it by 10 because I want to know 10 times as much as a 34 pound American porcupine. 
that leaves me a number of 340 pounds. So when I was looking at my animals, I was looking for animals that 340 would fall within the range of their weight. This left me with multiple different answers. So if you have any of these, you're correct. You might have said the herp seal, the northern fur seal, the American alligator, white-tailed deer, Atlantic green turtle, or a black bear. All of these animals have a range in which 340 pounds falls within it. For the second question, I wanted to know how many groups of 300 pounds would fit within 600 pounds. So I divided 6,000 divided by 300. Here again, I used my smaller math facts to help me out. I thought about how many times would 3 go into 60? I could have broken it down even further and thought about how many times would 3 first go into 6? And then add my 0 at the end of it. So my final answer would be 20 fur seals. So 20 fur seals can fit or weigh as much as a 6,000 6, pound pilot whale. Now you try. Turn to page 206 in your math journal. You're going to be using what you know about multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000 to solve these problems. Remember to use what you know about smaller math facts when approaching these multiplication and division problems. Good luck!